So I think what we're seeing also with the, all the other uh, presentations is we're moving into this uh, space in which people are creating toolboxes or uh, GitHub repositories to help other people also, you know, fix their avatars more and more. And, and this is one more step. Uh, con precisely on animation of avatars, right? It's uh, we're, we're seeing already avatar libraries that are available. You can use these avatars for your work, but it's, it's very hard to animate them. And we're trying to solve that by creating a series of projects that are very plug and play and, you know, kind of bringing inside the avatar world people who are not on uh, computer science departments necessarily. So we had a bunch of collaborators for this work um, and I will start um, by saying, yeah, for, for animation of avatars traditionally to get high quality, uh, you need to feed users with this full body avatar, full body suits and it's an expensive capture setup with cameras around you and it, it something definitely we cannot bring home or too many um, laboratories. So you can get great results that way. And this paper by Mel Slater in Seagraph uh, has very interesting experience of, you know, what people really like about this full uh, body experience of, of recording your avatar and you can do it in real time. And the results are great, but as we we're saying, not everyone can, can get there. So I want to show this a small a work that took six months preparing. <laughs> and this is an avatar that was recorded from an actor. Uh, I'm ready to begin. Are you also ready? So what we did here is uh, we get this avatar, uh, we recorded the actor, the video, the audio, the, the emotions, and you know interactions with the person. Uh, quite a lot of animations here. Eventually, they become, um, you know, uh, quite uh, shocking. Uh, what we were doing here is an, uh, a representation of the Milgram experience to uh, obedience to authority uh, experiments. And, um, you know, it took six months to prepare this thing. And we're like, okay, th this, is, this is not accessible for other people. So what we're trying to do here is uh, using the Microsoft Rocketbox avatars, which are available for everyone to use. Um, Realistic okay. avatars are an essential component for creating social interactions in virtual reality. Realistic avatars are an essential component for creating social interactions in virtual reality. However, the main issue faced by small labs is a lack of simple self-creation animation tools. In this paper, we present Movebox, a plug and play toolbox that aims to provide resources for motion capture and animation of the Microsoft Rocketbox avatars without the need for professional equipment. So the, the cool thing about this avatar is that it took as long as it takes to replay to record. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, that's, that's the big change of what we're trying to achieve with the Movebox. Uh, Movebox, it has a multiple boxes inside. I will go a bit around that. But the main idea is that you can use real-time animation, record it, and play it back. And what, for doing that, we use either real-time depth sensing cameras like Kinect version 2 or Acer Kinect. We use the Rocketbox avatars, which are rigged. We do a skeletal tracking and transformations to adapt the skeletons from these uh, cameras and the skeletons that come with the avatars. And then we also have other parsers for, for example, for simple um, body, uh, uh, body skeletons. Uh, so you can use things like the Vive by Max Planck people uh, to do offline video motion recovery. I'm sorry. And then a few other small tools like, uh, you know, a small lip sync with audio, you know, you put audio blinking. Uh, so you have minimal facial animations and things like finger and hand animation for real time uh, embodiment. So let's go at this because it really is like three projects in one. We have the Capture Studio. Uh, which I will explain now. Then we have a base project for embodiment in which you enter 
and you see yourself inside an avatar and you can have inverse kinematics of the upper body and finger tracking, all of these open source free. And, and then the third project is, the, is actually the simple parser uh, that can be used, for example, to retrieve motions for archival footage of video. So let's go a bit and explore the Capture Studio. Using depth sensing cameras such as Azure Connect or Connect version 2, the toolbox can track a user's three-dimensional motion and transform that data into a full-body animation clip. Which combined with a basic analysis of an audio input, we can add facial animations so that the avatars are lip synced. Thanks to the bone structure on the face, we can animate the jaw for lip sync and add other facial animations such as natural blinks. Using depth sensing Using depth Sorry. Toolbox also enables the sizing capabilities. This scaling is done by measuring the foot and head joints using the depth sensing cameras and then resizing the skeletal structure of the avatar accordingly. Movebox allows for all of these features to be viewed and used in real time, but also be recorded for use at a later time or with different avatars. So this part is, I think it's the key part that you can have inside the, um, let me try to go back to Toolbox the Toolbox also enables yeah. sizing capabilities. This scaling is done. Um, that you can have inside Unity just this one uh, uh, controller to, to record and playback and put animation. So you drop that script into any of the Rocketbox avatars and all of a sudden you have the whole studio in there. So th there were some challenges, as we say, there is a lot of conversions on uh, skeletons, right? That look very differently, even from Kinect version two to Azure Kinect, and also the own avatars and the simple uh, skeletal structure is also different. And then other uh, small tricks that we did, like a uh, role compensation based on the data model. Um, and, and all these things are embedded. Um, inside the system and uh, simplify and um, improve the quality of the of the animation. So the, the second project is this embodiment based project. The idea here is you put on the headset and with the headset and, and controllers or if you have a Oculus Quest or some MRTK type of um, uh, compatible device, you can have hand tracking and the, the head tracking and then render an avatar precisely substituting um, the, the uh, participant's body, right? Um, I think the hand tracking also is great for manual tasks in front of the participant, which are very common for um, motion control or uh, experiments um, related to rubber hand illusion, right? So this inverse kinematics and this hand tracking, everything is into this very simple project that you can also download uh, from the Movebox release. And finally, we have this simple parser, uh, which can be understood <laughs> much better if we think of it as part of, uh, you know, something that connects the Rocketbox avatar with other work like the Vive. So the Vive is this video inference uh, work that you can use any YouTube video or any prior archival footage that you have. And, and uh, it extracts the, the motions and the, the, the body uh, shapes of, of everybody who's on the camera, right? It works pretty well when you have full bodies. Uh, it doesn't work so well when it's cropped, but of course this will improve. And the interesting thing is that we can transfer all of that very nicely to the avatars. So you can have archival footage. And this is super interesting for people who are working in, in social psychology, right? Like you can recreate a bar fight. You can recreate the, the camera that a policeman has been a, a carrying right and record and a scene and then you can figure out a, for immersive journalism for example or you know this idea that also you can recreate any prior scene that was not VR inside VR all the videos that exist on YouTube explore social uh, features right like extract all the videos that feature three people playing together some sort of, uh, or talking together and then extract social norms out of those videos and, and recreate on site and, and create your, even your own motion banking 
of what do you want people to do and avatars to do. So you don't need even to, to uh, have a deep sensing camera. You can use YouTube videos to, to record your own animations. We validate our toolbox. And here we have some validation of how good it works, no? how well it works, the, the whole uh, tracking. Here you have the skeleton retrieved from the particular depth sensing and the application to the avatar and, downstairs, and down is the, the ground truth. We validate our toolbox using both the Azure Connect as well as the Connect version 2. As a demonstration of the animation process, we perform upper and lower body movements and are able to view the resulting animation of the avatar in real time. Due to the lower joint tracking accuracy of the Connect version 2, some joint rotations are measured poorly, the result of which becomes apparent when transferred to a full body avatar. To improve the Connect version 2 results, in Movebox we implemented a model-driven rotation compensation. So uh, one thing that I want to highlight here is that you can be recording while you're seeing another video, another avatar play, and then you can overlap very nicely, uh, which is something important, I think, for people who are trying to create a social scenario, right? That things need to be sort of in sync. So you could record an avatar saying a part of a script, and then the other avatar saying the other part of the script. Our validation shows how Movebox responds to different depth sensing devices and how better machine learning systems are helping in democratizing motion capture tools and avatars for end users. So one of the cool things here is also in performance, right? It, um, we really put thousands of uh, people with animations inside uh, Unity, it runs real time and it's great, you know, when you put the headset on and you're right in the middle of all these avatars dancing and, you know, these type of things uh, which are very hard and also shows the importance of these type of tools, not only for, you know, small social interactions, I think even crowd uh, simulations could benefit very much of these type of tools. And I say, uh, creating your own motion bank, this idea that you have a pre-baked walking animation, or I, I think that that's gonna be over uh, as we have more uh, tools like this. And my hope is that it's simple enough that moves away from just computer science departments. And you know, you, you have all these people trying to explore bystander effects or in social psychology, um, how people behave on a fight. And you cannot go into a bar and start a fight, but you can start a fight in a virtual bar, right? So I think this source code and, and this uh, move box should help everyone uh, on, the, on that regard. Um, so this is uh, the presentation and I'm ready for questions.